Hello, Trinity Lutheran Baton Rouge. For those of you who may not recognize me, my name is Jeff Gribnall, and I've had the pleasure of serving as your president since January of 2019. So as you can tell, I'm not at the church. I'm actually coming to you tonight from uh, my home office. Like many of you, I've been sequestered in my home. I'm working from home quite a bit. I'm going into the office a few times a week, but for the most part, I've been locked down, uh, like, like all of us, trying to deal with this very unusual, very challenging situation. But I wanted to take this opportunity to come to you tonight and, and just let you know a little bit about some of the great things that have been going on at Trinity and some of the great things we're continuing to do even through this very challenging pandemic. So let me start with the school. So prior to this, we, we've had 57 children enrolled at our school this year, um, which is a little less than what we'd hoped, but I'm very pleased to say that prior to this pandemic, when we had to go into this lockdown, we had anywhere from five to seven tours being done daily. Uh, at our school and I'm very pleased to announce that we actually have had 12 families new families that have enrolled in our school for next fall which is wonderful wonderful news for our school in our preschool we've had uh, about 90 kids enroll which is I think a record for the campus in South Harris Ferry and so really wonderful job being done there at the preschool it's a great outreach and we're getting a lot of interest at our preschool and then at our church I'm very pleased to say that We've had welcomed 28 new members into our church family just this past year. So God is doing amazing things at our new campus at South Harris Ferry. We get a lot of positive feedback around how beautiful the campus is, how welcoming everyone is, and so great things have been happening there. Obviously, this, this recent uh, pandemic with the coronavirus has created a lot of challenges for us. So I want to go through a little bit about what we've been doing, how we've responded, and how our ministries are doing through this. So to start with the school, so our school has gone very quickly to 100% online classes. They're using Zoom to be able to connect with the kids and continue to educate the kids. And as far as we can tell, that's all going extremely well. I want to say a big thank you to Marina and all the school staff for all they've done. They've adapted very quickly. We're getting a lot of positive feedback for how things are going and we're continuing to educate those children. And so shout out to all the folks that are making that happen. Well done. We're continuing to share an education anchored in Christ through the electronic ability that we have. Our preschool, while we had 90 kids enrolled before, with a lot of people staying home now because of the quarantine, uh, we actually are seeing less than 30 kids show up on a day-to-day -day basis. We are still open. We're working hard to stay open. And I want to say a big thank you to Jordan and all of the staff at the preschool for all the work that they're doing. They're doing additional screening to make sure we don't have sick children coming to, to our school, but they're also doing a great job of serving those kids, loving those kids while their parents are out doing essential activities for our community, for our city, for our state. And so great job as the preschool staying open and continuing to serve our community and loving the children of our community. As a church, I think you've probably noticed we're basically 100% online now. There's way too many people for me to try to thank, and, and I'm sure I'll forget some if I do start naming folks. But all the folks making the Wednesday services, the Sunday services happen online, all the great work being done by our praise band who's been recording some, some music for you to enjoy, uh, all the messaging from Kinsey and, and the Bible studies and everything that's being done online. It's really just a fantastic way. We're blessed to have the technology that we have to be able to continue to share God's Word even in this difficult time. As a board of directors, we're meeting weekly on Zoom. Uh, that way we don't have to violate our social distancing practices. We're meeting as a board along with our church staff and our school staff, and we're jointly responding to what is a very dynamic situation and changing by the day, if not the hour. Uh, new information is coming in all the time, and we're doing everything we can to be able to stay abreast of what's going on and to adjust what we're doing, continue to make sure we're connecting with all of you, with our school families, and continue to provide the love of God, the gospel of our Lord Jesus, and to make sure that we are serving you as best as we possibly can through what is a very difficult situation. One of the things I wanted to share with you as well is when you look prior to this pandemic, uh, as, a, as, a, as a church organization uh, across all three ministries, uh, we were seeing revenues that were lower than what we had budgeted for. We were about $150,000 lower on total revenue than what we had planned for. However, I'm very pleased to announce through a lot of great work by our staff and a lot of work by our board, 
we actually were $18,000 in net income above budget. So even though our revenues have been down across all three ministries this year, we've been doing a great job of controlling costs, being good stewards of the blessings that God has given us financially, and we have been able to maintain our budgets better than planned from a net income perspective. Obviously, the current situation has created a lot of challenges for us. Uh, our, our preschool has got quite a lot lower enrollment than what we previously had, so that means that our income from the preschool is down. Here in the last few weeks, unfortunately, we've seen our tithing and our offerings have come down quite a bit from what we have been seeing. And I just want to encourage you, I know a lot of you are struggling financially, and if you're in that place, please reach out to us. Let us know how we can help. We will do everything we possibly can to help you. For those of you that have the means, I want to encourage you to please continue to prayerfully consider how you can continue to support Trinity's ministries financially. We, as a church organization, you know, our mission is to praise love, grow, and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we are continuing to do that, even in this very challenging time. And we need your support. We need your help. We need you to continue to pray for us, continue to consider how you may be able to support us financially through this very difficult time so that we can continue to support our staff, support all the folks that are working in our ministry that can continue to be able to share God's love in our community in a time when it's really needed. There are a number of ways that you can do that. Uh, you can certainly mail us uh, any donations. and We'd ask that you not mail us any cash. If you have that, let us know. We'll offer you a place to drop that off. You can go online to uh, our website and, uh, and give online through uh, Vanco. And then also we've set up an app where you can give through an app, an app called Shelby. Shelby is the app. If you have any questions around that, you can contact Abigail. You can contact me, contact Pastor Dave, contact any of our staff. We'd be happy to get you that information. That information is also available online. You can find it in our bulletin as well. So I would ask just please continue to pray for us. Continue to prayerfully consider how you can contribute and support us financially through this very challenging cash flow time. And the last thing I would leave you with is, you know, there's a lot of unease in the world. There's a lot of you know ups and downs in the market. There's a lot of uh, unknowns with what's going on with this coronavirus. I just would tell you that you know we serve a, an amazing God. We serve a great God who is in control. We know that all things happen through his divine intervention. All things happen by his will. I take comfort in that. I hope you do as well. And if you if you're struggling financially, if you're struggling with anxiety, if you need someone to talk to, someone to pray with, please give us a call. Our phone numbers are all in the bulletin. They're all online. You can reach me. You can reach Pastor. You can reach any of our staff. We would love to hear from you. Let us know how you're doing. We're trying to stay connected as a church family throughout this time. And, and so what I would leave you with, uh, I know Pastor Dave, uh, after he concludes his sermons, he loves to use Philippians 4 as his kind of closing message. Uh, and while that's a very good one, uh, I, I've always been very partial to Hebrews, and so I'll leave you with the closing of Hebrews. May the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant, brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Bye, my friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.